Today we're going to discuss powers and exponents. I've always found it funny how they put powers and exponents together because a power is the use of exponents. Start off with a story because a long, 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 long time ago, not everybody could write. Could write for others were called scribes. And one day a scribe was helping out a mathematician. And the mathematician was going on and on. And the mathematician said to himself, he said, write this down. Because he didn't know how to write. He was a very smart man, but he didn't know how to write. And he told the scribe, he said, can you do me a favor? Can you please write down, and I'm figuring out what five times 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 and the scribe said ow my hands is hurting why do I have to write this down so many times this is ridiculous and the mathematician said well do you have any other ideas he said well wouldn't it be easier if I wrote the number down that I'm saying all the time and then I counted you told me how many times I could write it well what do you mean well if I write the number five down and you asked me to write it one two three four five six seven eight nine times I could easily say five to the ninth and if we're doing this over and over again that way my hand won't hurt and we can get a lot more work done wow that sounds like a good idea I know what why don't we call the number you're multiplying the base and the little number up in the corner, the exponent. And the exponent will tell us how many times to multiply the base. That's, that's a good idea. I like that. And we're going to call them exponents. And when we use exponents, we're going to say we're using powers. It's powerful. I like that idea. Okay, let, let's try another one. So he said, what if you wrote, what if I want to multiply 2, not, and I want to multiply it by itself 5 times? Well, that's easy. You'd write 2 to the 5th. 2 to the 5th? Well, sure. My base is 2, and my exponent is 5. And what that means is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that gives me the same answer. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is, I know, 32. I said, yep, that's right. So isn't it easier to say 2 to the 5th power equals 32? I think it is. And trust me, any time we can shorten a math problem, it's in your benefit. Okay, okay, okay. I got another one. I got another one. Let's try another one. Okay. What if I said 3 to the second power? Okay, well, then that would mean you would write 3 times 3. See, the number up in the corner tells you how many times to multiply the base by itself. And that would give you 9. Well, I can say 3 to the second power, or do you, you know what? You know what? If I had 
a three by three, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's a three by three. Wait a second. What shape does that form? I know, I know. It forms a square. So I can say 3 to the second power, or I can say 3 squared. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's try another one. I got another one. I got another one. Okay, let's go ahead and try 4 to the third power. Remember, the little tiny number up in the corner, the exponent tells me how many times to multiply the base by itself. If the base is 4, I'm going to multiply it or write it down 3 times. Whoop, I wrote down the 3. Don't do that. Because you're multiplying. It. The little number tells you how many times to repeat the base. Okay, so 4 times 4 times 4 is... <gasps> I know, I know! 64! Wait a second, I have an idea. I, I, I think I'm onto something. Uh-oh, Mrs. Chapman can't draw. She doesn't know how to draw. If I had 64 cubes, I could technically, in all three sides of this cube, worth by four, my length, my width, and my height, four by four by four, it would take me 64 cubes to make it. And it would form a cube, a square on all sides. So you're telling me if the length times the width times the height of a cube is all the same, which in this case, it would be 4 times 4 times 4. All I have to do is write 4 cubed or 4 to the third power. Didn't mean to put the equals. I like it. I like it. I can do that. I can do that. Yes, I can do that. Okay, well, let's try another one. Let's see if you can do another one. Let's check it out. What if I said, write 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 as a power. Okay, okay, I, I can do this one. Let's see here. My base, what am I, multi my base is what I multiply over and over and over again, what I'm repeating, and then my exponent tells me how many times I wrote it down. One, two, three, four. So I'd be three to the fourth. Cool. But what does that equal? Well, Three times three is nine. Three times three is nine. And nine times nine is eighty-one. Cool. I like it. Okay. Well, what if they tell me to... I got stuck on this one. Write four to the fifth as a... Product of the same factor? 
and then solve? But what does that mean? Well, let me tell you. Pro product means to multiply. It means you're going to multiply. So we need to multiply. 4 to the 5th, remember the 4 is the base. 4 times 4. How, how do I know how many times I'm going to write it? Oh, that's easy. This little number up in the corner. It's called an exponent. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, but then it says solve. How do I solve it? Well, I know that four times four is sixteen, and four times four is sixteen. I don't have anything to multiply that by, and then I have to multiply this level here, all that's in green. And so I'm going to pull out a calculator and say 16 times 16 times 4 gives me 1,024. So I can write it as 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 because I'm using the same factor. Remember, a factor's numbers multiplied together. Or I can write 4 to the fifth power. I want to do another one. I'm still not sure. How about a word problem? Okay, let's try a word problem. In a recent year, about 10 to the 4th youth. Well, that's a funny way of saying it. Yeah, I know, but it's easier to write that way. across the U.S. participated in activities and events to care for the Earth's environment. Well, that's a good thing. I have noticed more youth involved in the Earth's environment, so that's a really good thing. But how many kids is 10 to the 4th? Well, let's write it out the long way. If I said 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, because remember, I'm multiplying, I'm writing the base down over and over and over again. This number just tells me how many times to write it down. And then I multiply. Well, I know that 10 times 10 is 100, and another 10 times 10 is 100. Well, what's 100 times 100? Oh, that's easy. Did your teacher ever tell you the trick? You take the two numbers in front, multiply that together, and 1 times 1 is 1, and then add the zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then put the decimal every three spaces. 10,000 youth across the U.S. participate in activities and events to care for the Earth's environment. I like that. That's a good idea.